Hi friends, long time no see. I know, I know, but I'm here. How are you? I'm so happy to be back. So we're gonna get right into it. This is skincare. The girl has been drinking her water and minding her business, okay? Um, and the skin has been reflecting as such. I'm also tan, which I, I just love being tan. Like that's why this color looks so good. It's melanin, honey, get into it. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about skincare. I have been using some products that I really want to show you guys, and you know, hopefully, put you onto some game, so you can implement them into your skincare routine. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls, we don't miss our skincare. Okay, at least once a day. Either you do morning or night. I I try to do both. Night is my my OG. That's why we're here. We're doing nighttime routine because honestly, that's when you're. You know, when you're sleeping, your body is regenerating, your cells are doing all the things they need to do to promote better, healthier, younger looking skin. So you wanna get all that stuff in there and let it absorb. I personally need to stop sleeping on my face. Like I need to invest in a good pillow and I need to be comfortable so that I'm not lying on either side of my face because that is a bad habit and that promotes wrinkles and unevenness. Like literally your face could be uneven like if you sleep on one side as opposed to the other, so don't be like me if you know of any pillows let me know <laughs> some of these products were sent to me um i have been blessed enough recently to start stepping into the um you know brand deal life and the sponsorship life so i'm excited about that um obviously i'm only going to work with brands and products that i love and you know want to share with you um I'm not that desperate for views and likes to just be putting anything out there. Um, just to touch on that really quickly, um, if you do want, you know, tips on how to, you know, kind of land some of these deals where you're maybe not necessarily getting compensated, like, you know, a dollar amount, but, you know, product, I mean, some of these products are, you know, $40, $50 a pop. So I look at it like that's kind of a financial compensation in its own way because that's money I don't have to spend on products that I probably would be buying on my own. So, you know, saves a little money and that's money you can spend on other things or invest into, you know, your, your content or whatever you want to do. So if you want tips and tricks on that, let me know. I will do a separate video on how to kind of land some, you know, sponsorships, even if it is just gifting things to you in exchange for reviews on your TikTok or, you know, YouTube, whatever. Um, I'd be glad to do that. So let me know. Yeah, these products, some of them were sent to me through this, um, this platform that I've been working with. So I am going to show you what products were sent to me and then some of them I went out and bought so that they could match with the products that I received. So I'll show you. Um, some of them also are just ones that I've had and I use all the time. So they're like always on my shelf at some point. I always use these particular products. At the end of the video, um, we will be going through and I'm going to actually show you my nighttime routine, washing, applying all the products, literally step one through 5,000, however many steps there is. So I'm going to take you in the bathroom. You're going to see me wash my face and then we'll come back here and I'm going to apply everything on my face and you know I'll show you how I layer it and all of that. So firstly, um, I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately. You know, it is starting to become summertime. I'm on the West Coast. I kind of go back and forth between Los Angeles and Vegas a lot. Um, Los Angeles is starting to get hot. So, you know, it, it's it's just, and you know, Las Vegas just is always hot. So the West Coast in general um, is different for me now. You know, I'm, I'm adjusting to how I have to put makeup on and, what I noticed, like when I was living at home in the East Coast, I would, when summer would roll around, as soon as I got a tan, I wasn't wearing as much foundation because my skin looked more even with the color. So same thing here, except it's earlier in the year because I can get tan anytime the sun's always out, right? So I try not to wear as much foundation. Um, when I was working full time, I was wearing foundation literally every single day. And that's normally not me. I'm not a foundation girl, especially like full coverage, matte, heavy foundation, not every day. And I was, and my skin really took a toll. Um, we were still wearing the mask too at like probably the first two thirds of my employment. So, um, you know, we did have to wear them. We didn't have to wear them like all day, but we have to put them on if a customer came in the store. So, you know, that, all of that, and just being in a different environment, um, drier air, you know, all of these things. So my skin is finally starting to kind of get back to normal. Um, I have very normal skin, I would say, 
normal to combination. It can be a little oily at times. I just recently came up out of a dry spell that I'm I'm usually never dry. So I think it was kind of like my skin detoxing from wearing so much makeup for like months. <laughs> um, I did faithfully take my makeup off at night. There was probably, I was at that job for almost six months. There was maybe two times that I didn't take my makeup off before I went to sleep, which I'm, don't do that. Do not do that. Like I, I literally can't sleep good. Like I only do it if I'm like drunk <laughs> and I'm like, I literally physically cannot take my makeup off. So um, but like if I am aware of it, I can't sleep. Like I'm like, oh my God, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. I need to wash my face. So I try my best to at least, at least, you know? So um, that's where we're gonna start with these. These are from, I wanna say like Albertsons or Pro, I don't know, one of the grocery stores I was in. And it's like the knockoff, um, it's, it's, they're called Signature Care, <laughs> but it's supposed to be comparable to the Neutrogena ones, which I've used. I have to be so careful with these. I have to be careful with everything, but these in particular lately, I don't know if it's me getting older and just my body, you know, changing. My eyes are so sensitive, like even to fragrances, I have to be very careful what creams I put on my eyes, around my eyes, like it's annoying. Sunscreen, we're gonna talk about sunscreen as well. Um, but yeah, these are just towelettes. Um, you know, and when I am wearing a full face of makeup, I normally will either pre-cleanse with like an oil or I will go in with these and take my makeup off first then go in with cleanser you know all the other steps so this is normally my step one unless my skin is already clean then I don't really need to use these that would be what I would use first and then as far as a cleanser this is my all-time favorite um, cleanser like I was saying I have super sensitive eyes this never ever ever irritates my eyes or my skin in any way like this has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid and it's supposed to balance moisture in your skin i absolutely love this and i will use this uh cerave with this little scrubby pad this is like a silicone pad it literally has no um what's the word it's not rough, right? It's very soft. Like it doesn't have any like exfoliating nature to it at all. Like it's barely, you know, it's just a little bit of scrubby, you know, just to give it a little bit of texture on your skin, um, you know, just to get it nice and foamy and clean. And I like to use it like around my ears, the back of my neck, you know, when you put foundation, your makeup gets all back there. So it's nice to like scrub that stuff off with this. So I was sent two products by Ula Henriksen. The first one is the Barrier Booster Orange Ferment Essence. And this is what it looks like. Directions say to gently pat onto clean face and neck, AM and PM, before the rest of your skincare routine. And this is supposed to, well, it has fermented orange peel extract, orange stem cells, and vitamin C. I don't have the box anymore, but it is supposed to like it's kind of like sunscreen in a way, like it's supposed to prevent your skin from being affected by free radicals and like, you know, pollution and all of those things that can get into your skin. So probably not something that's gonna change the texture or the tone of your skin, but definitely add some protection, which obviously can't hurt, right? So the other product by Ula Henriksen that I was sent, I have used this before. This is the Banana Bright, Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of this if you haven't used it. Um, it's incredible. I am so excited that I was able to work with this brand. So this is 15% vitamin C, 5% PHAs, and hyaluronic acid. I don't know what PHAs are, um, but I will look it up and find out what that means. PHAs are a type of hydroxy or fruit acid. Other hydroxy acids include alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs, beta hydroxy acids, BHAs. All three are added to skincare products to help reverse sun damage, reduce the appearance of wrinkles, and make skin more elastic, toned, and hydrated. But this is a serum, so this is supposed to go on, um, you can use it daily, it says. And then, so serum is your step one normally after you've cleansed and toned. I have purchased this product probably over 10 times i mean i have been using it for years um the only time that i would 
not use it is if I can't afford it because it is it's higher end and you know the price point just sometimes don't work with your girl right so this is the Dermalogica daily microfoliant this is I mean this is it's life-changing I don't know it's made of like unicorn dust or something I don't know but it's so good they have a larger size that's the $60 bottle this is I believe $30 this is technically the travel size um and then they have a like a replacement that you can so that if you buy the bigger one and it's empty you buy this like little baggy thing and you can um, refill your your bigger bottle and yeah i've gone between they just released this size so this is the size that i've been getting because it's more budget friendly for me um but i started with the bigger size and i mean either way you know but anyway so this is um it's a microfoliant and on the back it says achieve brighter smoother skin every day with this iconic exfoliating powder and they're not let me tell you dermalogica is not like this is no cap when it say when they say iconic it is iconic jackie Ina uses it i don't I, we could end the video i don't have to say anything else so the directions on how to use it is dispense into wet hands and create a paste. Massage onto clean face and then rinse and then it says avoid eye area. This doesn't have a scent in any way. I haven't ever, ever, ever experienced any type of irritation or anything when it comes to like my eyes or even my skin. So I swear by this. Oh, what was that one that I used to use back in the day? I never had any, what is it, by St. Ives? Oatmeal scrub or something? I never had any problems with it like supposedly it's not you are not supposed to use her but I loved her like she did me right but that scrub was like very harsh like you felt that this one your skin's gonna feel so soft and smooth you're gonna be like what the? like amazing so please go try it if you have $30 just make the investment this is gonna last you a while and you know give it a try they do have I believe as well like a kit that comes with a couple of different products um and it has that in it so you could also do that if you want to try like their pre-cleanse bomb is bomb <laughs> it's a balm b-a-l-m that you put on to like emulsify and remove your makeup as like a step one so that stuff i've used it incredible does not burn my eyes in any way their moisturizer is good their cleanser dermalogic is bomb so you wouldn't you can't go wrong with trying their products and then the last one that i was sent this one i've seen for years i i've seen it i feel like it kind of came back on the market and got popping i don't know if it was maybe through tiktok or something you know how things kind of come back out and you know get popular again but this is by rock this is the retinol correction line smoothing night serum capsules i've i've looked these up like i've researched them i've watched videos of women talking about their experience with them why i've never used them i'm not really sure but here we are um so it's just this little i don't know what this like what do they call it a capsule it looks like a pill with like a tab and you just cut that off and the you know the serum is on the inside and let me read you the back so the directions say gently twist to open the capsule smooth serum over cleansed face and neck at night when skin is most receptive for renewal renewal <laughs> If irritation occurs, apply this product every other night and then gradually increase frequency to every night. On the box, it did say you could experience some irritation or redness. I did not I've used this two nights in a row already and nothing. I picked up this little duo duo with the, it's called See Your Best Selfie. It's by Ula Henriksen. It's the, it has the Banana Bright Eye Cream and the brightening gel cream so picked up from sephora the ordinary hyaluronic acid get her get her this is like seven dollars the ordinary's prices are unordinary i'm like how do y'all do this but i've run like i drink this this is my favorite i i i i put this shit on everything like i love this hyaluronic acid i'm gonna take you guys in the bathroom and we're going to get this i had do have a little bit of makeup on um but because I started doing makeup and then I had to go, I had to run an errand, so I didn't finish it. And then I was gonna go out, but now I'm not. So I'm like, it's time to do skincare. I'd be excited to be at home doing my skincare. Like, I'd be like, oh, it's time to wash my face. Let's do this, so let's go. All right, so we are in the bathroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this headband on to 
cover up my edges. Then I'm also going to take these scrunchies and put them around my wrists so they catch the water. I know like, I guess now they make actual ones. I think they're like the same fabric. What is this, like a towel, you know, like absorbent that you can put, but this is like the OG way I learned this from. I love Serai, she put me onto this years and years ago. I hope she's getting a check for her idea. <laughs> So first thing we're going to do is I do have mascara on, so I'm going to go ahead and get this off with a makeup wipe. All right, now that I have pretty much taken off what I had on mascara and contour, step one is going to be cleansing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the water. So I just wet my hands a little bit and I just moisten my face first. And I'm going to take that little pad and I'm going to put a clump of CeraVe on This is on my eyebrows too when I cloud them out to make sure I get all the concealer out. The scrubber thing is not harsh at all, so you can, you know, go in with it. It's really good for like this, like your nose. Get all the makeup out, crevices, and now I'm going to rinse. I still have a little bit of mascara, if you can see it. I just put the smallest amount of CeraVe on my hands. I'm just going to very gently, this is what I do to try to get it all off. I like swipe down on my lashes and then up and I try to kind of really gently just scrub and get the, you know, break up the mascara. Let's get into this microfoliant. I feel like you guys, this is the, this is what you've been waiting for, right? So. My hands are already damp, and it does say to put a good amount of water in your hands, but I don't, I like it a little harsher than that. And it's not harsh, but when you use it, you'll understand what I'm saying. So my hands are already damp, so I'm gonna just sprinkle it into the palm like that. Okay, and I am just gonna take a little bit more water on my other hand. Just wet your other hand, and then you're going to So we come a paste. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need as much as I just used. Especially if you put more water, it spreads more. Well, the pressure for my hand is probably harsher than the actual product. Like I'm using my finger pads to push the product like up against my skin, so it, you know what I mean? So it scrubs it. I'm trying to make that make sense for you. <laughs> but I love it. I did this for like a minute. <laughs> like when I tell you obsessed with this product, and you can if you want, like when you get to this point, you can let it sit for like five minutes and then rinse honey, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to rinse this off. Right. She is clean, honey. And then I am going to take some paper towels to dry my face. I recommend paper towels. All right. Looks very clean. Feels so, like literally so smooth. Like, I know you can see it, honey. Your skin's gonna feel, it just, I don't know. It's just, there's magic in that bottle. Like, it just, okay, let's go put some products on. All right, so I think I forgot to tell you guys what toner I use. Um, this one's from Target, it's the Pixie. It's just retinol and jasmine flower advanced youth preserving toner. So this is gonna be my step one. My skin is very clean, very soft. I feel like I still have a little fucking mascara, but whatever. <laughs> and I don't even put it on my bottom lashes. That's the gag. The gag. I don't put it on my bottom lashes. So why are you there? Like you just... All right, I'm gonna go ahead and 
go in with the toner on this cotton pad. And I apologize for any lighting weirdness and shadows. I am working on that. But aren't we glad that I'm back on YouTube? Hey, y'all. What's tea? Let's talk about it. I've been doing really good with my content. I'm like really proud of myself because I just have been making it a priority and like pre-recording like when I'm feeling good and feeling confident I record you know like I utilize that time to try to you know set myself up so that when this depression kicks in because she always comes knocking and I don't feel like being in front of the camera I have like two or three days worth of content already recorded so I call that self-love <laughs> all right so we've toned so according to the products I'm supposed to use this barrier booster first so we're gonna go in with her first I'm gonna put like two or three drops on my hand. Okay. And then it says to pat it. It smells so good. It smells like orange juice, but better. Like, oh, it smells so good. Okay. Mm hmm. She's in there. Feels nice and tacky. So let's go in with the serum. So I'm gonna do like two or three. <laughs> three pumps. I love that it's orange tinted. Like it just makes me feel like it's brightening as soon as you put it on. <sighs> that smell is just iconic. Okay, let's give her it says all over the face and neck. Ladies, don't forget your neck, okay? I remember my mom always saying that. She was like, oh, that her neck is what made her feel like you could see her age to her. You know how you always see yourself. Because I thought my mom looked great. I was like, you don't look your age. Like, girl, I've seen some 60-year-olds, <laughs> some okay? Um, but, you know, she thought she was whatever. But she would always say that, like, don't forget your neck. Like, you know. <laughs> So, you always just take what's left on your hands, you know, just, and always upward. This little duo here was $25, so I think that's pretty good. You know, like it's, you're not committing to full-size products, so you can just definitely get a feel for it and see if you like it before you make that commitment, you know? So, I'm actually going to take what's on here and put that. We're going to start with that because I need every drop. I know that this product works really well and it works really well under makeup like it says that is very true it layers beautifully yeah my eyes are really sensitive I don't know what the heck so I'm putting a little extra because this is just what's on the lid so I'm like I might as well use her and I like to bring it up in the corners too I have this weird little bump here and I don't know what it is like it's kind of swollen it's getting better that I now that I've like really been taking care of my skin but like I don't know what it is all right I just need to make sure that it's like all the way in there it looks really good, looks nice and moisturized. So let's go in with the brightening gel cream. Second. Is this a joke? Look. One, two, <laughs> three. It was three of them. Anyway. So cute. So for the $25 was right what I needed oh yeah 
this is a good amount of product. It feels so good. My skin feels, I wish you could feel it. It feels so soft and I would say, so, okay. I went to the doctor like, a, like last month and I went to the ER. Anyway, it was a long story. I'll tell you another time, but I had my, uh, my levels checked and I have been swearing that I'm dehydrated. Like, I'm like, I know I don't drink enough water. I know I don't. But I, I eat ice a lot. Like, I eat ice all day long and I know it's terrible for my teeth, but I feel like it's keeping me hydrated. And I feel like it's just, it's a thing that, I don't know, I, I attribute it to weight loss surgery and just the feeling of, like, satisfaction that I get from actually finishing something and not feeling full, right? Like, I can eat an entire cup of ice and I get to chew and swallow and I don't get full and feel uncomfortable. So that's my logic behind it. That's me being a psychologist about it. <laughs> but... Yeah, but the, they said I'm not dehydrated. Like, he was like, you're not. Like, he's like, you're not, like, nothing, like, alarming. So I'm like, all right. But I know if I stepped up my water game, my skin would be even better. Like, she looks pretty good for someone who doesn't drink enough water. At least to me, I don't drink enough. <laughs> so good. All right. So the last step is going to be a little rock thingy, retinol correction. So it says you can just twist it off. I cut it, but let's see if it twists. Okay, I'm going to put this here so you guys can kind of see how much is in there. It's a good, I mean, it's a good amount. So I'm going to focus this around my eyes because it's supposed to specifically target fine lines and wrinkles so I'm gonna put it around my eyes and I've used it already I know that it's not irritating at all and here like in these lines here and then whatever's left I'm just gonna smear it all over my face so I'm just gonna take my ring finger and if you don't know your ring finger has the least amount of pressure which is why it's recommended to use this like if you're blending out concealer applying your in under eye cream or anything that has to do with your eyes Ring finger has the least amount of pressure. So I'm just gonna put it like right here. Like you see all those lines in there. We're trying to we need them to get it together. I do want to get filler, mainly in my under eye area, and mainly not necessarily for um discoloration which I do have but I can conceal that what's harder to conceal is texture so I would like to get filler to fill in those lines you know which is what it's supposed to be for but um, you know some of them get it for darkness which I've heard mixed reviews like some it helps and some it's like it's just how it is you know but I feel like if it was smooth in that area, I could conceal with no problem. Like that, it's hard to conceal because it just sits in, you know, in the lines. And I feel like it's really noticeable. But I got that Charlotte Tilbury powder and that stuff really helps. It looks really good and it doesn't like settle in your lines. So hopefully. All right, so I use most of that and I'm just gonna, <laughs> okay. Don't forget your hands. <laughs> like I said, I just spread the rest everywhere. Like it. Okay. We're gonna go in with this lip mask. And I love this. I use this even during the day. Like, I don't just use it at night. Because it makes your lips look so good. And it's not like sticky. So I'm going to get close so you can see my skin. Looks pretty good.
I love looking like, like I'm glossed, <laughs> you know? All right, friends, that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you were able to pick up a few tips that you can implement into your routine. Let me know in the comments what products you use and love. Anything you'd like to suggest to me, I would love to hear. I'll definitely check it out. Let me know which one of these products you're going to try. And if you try them and if they work, I would love to know, especially the Dermalogica. If you guys use the microfoliant, please let me know because she is, she's a bad bitch and you need her. I'm telling you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and there will be more to come in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye.